the way the way we come out early uh, to set the tone. Like we've been on the road for a while, we've done a good job. Uh, to come home, sometimes teams have a propensity to relax a little bit, but uh, the way we come out and asserted ourselves early on was good to see, and that set the tone for the rest of the game. How much was that spoken about before the game? You know, the fact that you're back here for the first time in almost a month, you need to kind of get that crowd cheered up early. Yeah, look, we we touched on it just from a standpoint of. Uh, the way we needed to come out uh, with energy and a purpose defensively, uh, and just we just felt if our defense was at a good level, like our offense will take care of itself. So, just just more so the way we came out at the defensive end, and especially rebounding. They're they're you know the number one defensive rebounding team. They hit the offensive glass, so we needed to match them in those areas. Yeah. I just try not to screw it up. Stay out the way, you know. Just do do what I can to help him keep going. For sure, you know. We I think we feed off that energy and that scoring that he brings. So just stay out the way and just find other ways I can, you know, help get him easier shots, maybe, or you know. A couple of points for myself to take a little bit of pressure off him or something like that. Yeah, for sure. Did you know his father was in attendance today? Yeah, absolutely. As soon as I found out, I found out just before the game that there was his father there. So as soon as he before the game, I, I had him going for 50. I had him going for 50 for sure. Um, yeah, obviously, he started the fourth quarter not slowly because he wasn't scoring as much. You, Keanu, and Jordan all hit some big shots. Um, you know, what was that like? You know, the game's still on the line. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was just a great job by uh, Southeast, by you know, uh, a game plan switch up by them, you know, to try their hardest to stop Bryce. But I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, that's Bryce Cotton. You know, it's no easy task. John, they uh, they changed some things up at halftime. They brought the lead back, the lead back. Uh, I just seen the difference. It was four points at one point. Mitch Creighton's going over with Bryce. What did you try to change in the kind of later stages of the game? We, we just, uh, like what the defensive changes they made, uh, it just took us a minute there to uh, trust what we're about and not losing that aggressive mindset. I, I just felt like we got a little passive, uh, which allowed them to get out in transition and get their offense going and Creek really capitalized on that. So uh, once, you know, they did a good job of getting the ball out of Bryce's hands, but then as you said, like Asha, Ty, Keanu, they were very aggressive and assertive and created a lot of opportunity for each other. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, um, Ty, we've seen teams at different times this year say got you and an awful lot of you to shoot. Um, probably never as much as I saw tonight. It looked like you were enjoying that though. You took a chance to shoot and you ended up having a big influence on the game. Do you enjoy it when your team gives you that sort of space? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I had to take the challenge on. Uh, JR pulled me out in the in the third quarter. Had to have a quick word to me, you know, remind me who I am and what I do. But yeah, for sure, it's it's awesome to see, and I, I love I love it. I love it for sure. It's, it's it's a strange one because we've seen you play previously, you know, the breakers and you know, for the tall blacks, and I mean, we know you can shoot the ball. I mean, it's not like you can't shoot the ball. I mean, absolutely, absolutely. I think it's probably just the best option for them to stop me. You know, I think um, obviously Bryce is going to do Bryce every every game. Um, he's a hell of a cover, so you know, you try to limit the other guys around Bryce. And I think that's probably just the best option right now for them to try. So I got to you know really lock in, focus, and not you know not let them disrespect me. Um, yeah, extremely well. You know, I think uh, from where we are now, from the start of the season, um, we've come a long way. You know, just the chemistry between me and Bryce, and and the whole team. You know, getting around, uh, getting around, trying to make the game easier for Bryce.
I think he's been doing that for the majority of the season. Um, you guys get enamored when that stat line looks a little different. But uh, like tonight, the way they defended, he set some great screens for Bryce to get open shots, and that gets no statistical reward. He's been doing those types of things all year. Um, but it's great to see people uh, understanding the influence. But along with that, you got someone like Hiram Harris that baffles me that he doesn't get mentioned in most improved. And you look at his record since he's joined us in the starting lineup and the confidence that he's playing with. Jordan Usher, like big steals. Jesse Wagstaff, big steals. Keanu Pinder, you, you know, like it's it's hopefully the makings of a good team when we have multiple contributors. Now Bryce provides great gravity, but we're learning and understanding how to maximize everyone's strengths to combat how teams play us. You talked about rebounding before as well, and David Guerra comes in and grabs six of them. Yep. He played a big role as well. Um, how's Christian, how's Christian Lugel? We saw him take a hit at the mock, and then he, he didn't quite look himself a little old, and then he went into the changing room and didn't see anything. Do you know, do you know how, how that is? Yeah, he, he's with the doctors going through the medical testing that they do. So uh, we, we just got to wait and see uh, what the results are with that. But uh, yeah, tough, tough to see. Yeah, look, any, any time you've been on the road like that, uh, coming back home, like it's obviously a great environment to play in. Uh, but sometimes you can just take a minute and relax. And that's where I was a little bit nervous going into this game. Um, but the guys come out, did a great job. And then, uh, you know, I, I think they're an entertaining group of players to watch. Um, so any fan that comes to our game shouldn't leave disappointed. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.